a few years ago, my brother nicknamed this river, Dengue River. And it turns out he was right about it. The start of Shargal's dengue outbreak is here, along the banks of this river. The first we knew about it was when Raf's cousin, Walter, fell very ill and was taken to hospital. We visited him there. Raf was somewhat reluctant to go, concerned about transmission of dengue. Uh, we later found out that stretching from Barangay 3, especially to Barangay 5, along the banks of this river, is where the outbreak has been concentrated. The rest of this vlog is our experience after Raf fell ill, just a few days after his cousin Walter. This is it, the dengue outbreak in Shargao Island, Raf in hospital. Well, after four days of high fever, Raf's fever subsided a little bit and he got a test and sadly it was confirmed positive for dengue fever. He also vomited once and started seeming somewhat agitated to me and that was enough for us to admit him yesterday here at Dapa Shargao District Hospital. Let's wander around here. This is a basic medical facility and it's the best hospital on the island. Indeed, President Duterte has promised some new facilities here on Shargo Island because although it's the best, it is quite a basic facility. We're grateful still to be able to bring Raf here after he got admitted, he recorded a platelet result. This is a blood count of 49, which is considered low. Not very low, the lowest that they've ever had is three, and that patient ended up in intensive care. You can see here the rows of oxygen and it's very reminiscent of the sort of hospital you would expect in a rural area. Uh, the hospital here, of course, has been dealing with the pandemic, but dengue fever is significantly more dangerous for children than COVID-19. Uh, as the pandemic starts to wind down, and indeed, Generally, the focus of the Philippine campaign is purely vaccination now, especially of children with a lot of coercion. No vax, no entry to educational facilities. And that seems the wrong way to go, given the lack of evidence that the vaccination will last. And there is a lot of hesitancy here because dengue fever itself gave rise to a vaccine that led to hundreds of children dying here in the Philippines. Let's go inside and see how Raf's getting on on his first day. Right, here we are on the corridor and the wards are, as you'd expect, full, generally full of dengue patients. And let's see how Raf is getting on. I'm feeling okay. I was admitted here yesterday and I hope to get out here very soon. Uh, our sleep last night is... It's okay, yeah, good. 
and I'm here to assist if Rob wants to go to the toilet and of course check if his temperature is okay and if there's a problem to tell the nurse. So in contrast to the UK, the hospital here requires the patient and or the relatives to take a proactive role in their recovery. Such is the stress on the nurses and the doctors here. The wards are very, very full. There's an ongoing measles and dengue outbreak here on Shargao Island. And we're here in the corridor uh, to make sure that Raf is okay. He's feeling pretty good. So let's just wait for his blood result. Although the medical staff here are providing excellent care, it's the cats and the dogs that are lurking in the corridors. Quite a lot of flies around. Raf's current condition is stable. His platelet level has fallen by just two overnight and he'll have another blood test later today. If there were any chances of a bleed, any signs of that, we would get on the boat to Surigao immediately. It's just that he was admitted in the afternoon and there were no boats, so we decided on Dapper. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Well, it's day two here at Dapper District Hospital. They've begun to paint the hallways and got a little bit of a problem because Raph was comfortable in the hallway with an electricity connection. Now you can see behind me, they've begun to paint the halls. And what this has led to is that all of the patients in the halls have been moved and they've been moved here into a rather crowded situation. Raph? How are you feeling today? Um, I feel much better now, but I'm a little bit nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I just want to get out of here and they still won't do my platelet test. And uh, what's happening, uh, what's just happened to you? They moved from outside into here. Yeah. And are you getting a little bit hot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's too loud, Mama. Too loud. Now we find ourselves here in the middle of a very crowded ward. It could be temporary. No one has really said anything. We were just moved right in the middle of the room. And of course, with us being foreigners, myself and Raf, uh, we're the centre of attention and we're in the centre of the, the room here. Um, Miris and I have begun to argue somewhat with me wanting us to check out and go to Surigao if necessary, or just home. We'll have to see how this plays out because, of course, the doctors and the nurses want Raph to stay in for at least 24 to 48 hours. His platelet test has gone up to 54, and that was last night, and they've just drawn some more blood. So we'll have to see what the result of that is later. But for now, Shargao District Hospital, we are absolutely the centre of attention here. We've been put right inside in the middle of the room because they're doing painting the hallway where we're staying. So right now I'm very high blood with Martin. I think I'm gonna take him to the mental hospital. After 46 hours, we feel so blessed to be taking Raph home. All of our prayers have been answered. 
We're so grateful to the hospital for everything they've done. And I had to drive home just to get some documents. But those documents meant the entire stay was free and we just had to pay for the medicine. It's a good result. Raf's feeling strong now. And let's find out how he feels about heading home. Raf. I just can't wait to get out of here and lie down on my sofa again. So, it's time, finally, to enjoy summer here on Shargao Island.